Friday night, Donald Trump announced the US was launching airstrikes against chemical weapons facilities in Syria in response to gas attacks by Syrian President Bashar al-Assad against his own people. The purpose of our actions tonight is to establish a strong deterrent against the production, spread and use of chemical weapons. Let me say up front, news from the Middle East is kind of like hearing a woman talking about The Bachelor. Like, I know it involves uh, a lot of people I know nothing about and they're always fighting and, <laughs> and the use of chemicals has resulted in people getting hurt. Assad used chemical weapons on his own people. The US can't sit idly by as Assad commits such atrocities. Plus, the bombing was backed by France and Britain. So this wasn't a madman acting alone. It was a madman plus, I, 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 I want to say, Dame Judy Dench and her tennis instructor. <laughs> the problem is, Trump can't do anything without being so Trumpy about it. President Trump taunting Russia ahead of potential U.S. airstrikes in Syria. The president just tweeted this. Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming. Nice and new and smart. Yeah, of course they're new. They're missiles. <laughs> missiles aren't something you can reuse over and over again. They're not condoms. <laughs> No, no, I don't reuse them for sex. That would be ridiculous. I use them as punching bags to train my hamster. He, he's got a big fight coming up. You gotta eat pellets and shit lightning. I am the beaver. The, the beaver is the equivalent of a tiger in his world. Also, rule number one of shit talking is you can't talk shit and then the next day pretend you weren't talking shit the day before. After yesterday saying that missiles were coming, he's now back on Twitter clarifying uh, that maybe they're not coming as soon as people thought. Here's what he said. Never said when an attack on Syria would take place. Could be very soon or not soon at all. What, what does that mean? <laughs> when did the president of the United States become a troll telling riddles underneath a bridge? <laughs> Fiddly D will play our part with missiles nice and new and smart. Either they come or do they go. And when they do, you'll never know. <laughs> Trump has been thinking about Syria for a while. In 2013, when President Obama was also considering bombing Syria, Trump insisted he needed congressional approval. So when Trump ordered the strikes on Friday, yeah, he didn't get congressional approval. While Assad's chemical weapons use was horrific, Congress never authorized the U.S. to attack a country that has not attacked us. This is further example of Donald Trump and his administration not following the Constitution and not following the rule of law. I've never really understood that. I don't get how some war is legal and some isn't. Like, how dare you use chemical weapons when I'm shooting at you? We're trying to have a good, honest murdering of each other and you started cheating. <laughs> Why can't you just kill your country's people the American way? By putting lead in their water. <laughs> Hello to all of our viewers in Flint. <laughs> I think it was the right decision to retaliate against Assad. But it's hard to give Trump credit because, let's be honest, Trump doesn't really care about the people of Syria. Some of the criticism following the strikes in Syria involved the current U.S. policy regarding Syrian refugees uh, barring in their entry into this country. Here are the latest numbers. In 2016, 15,479 Syrian refugees entered this country. In 2018 so far, 11. That's, that's what you call a reduced number. <laughs> See, we can't go into a country and start blowing stuff up if we aren't going to help the refugees we're creating in the process. France and Britain are taking in, in as many as 30,000 refugees. And Germany is taking in a million. Germany. Good for you, Germany. Nice effort. But we still remember what you did. <laughs> We've only taken in 11 Syrian refugees this year. 11! I've had a doctor's finger in my ass more than 11 times. <laughs> Way more! Well... They say they're doctors, and I don't know why they work out the back of a food truck, and normally doctors don't work in groups, but anyway... <laughs> my point is... 
Until the United States start taking in hundreds of refugees, it seems like my arsehole is more tolerant than this country. <laughs> <laughs>